तुमका पूरा जन के मेगल नमस्कार आजी आगे आगे तुमगे मुखारी उलूचा मस्त खुश जता नौ वर्षा पुढ़ रामदास कंतिना पूरा मंगलूर आप संगले आगे समाज कस काम कर का मु तदनता मा एक कोंकनी समाज मुख्य एक अर्थ जाए नी हाँ बेंगलोर चो आमगे फैमिली एक सान फैमिली हम के आमगे क्रिकेट खेल न स्कूल वच न काम को नमगेले कामारी आम आशी ती जो तीन संगले सबगे समाज कस कर का मु तेखरी हम पूरा एक बेसून एक आस है बेतन एक सपन पड़े तो सपन कस मी ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू आमगे समाज कोंकनी उलूच समाज भारत वर्षान तू मस्त एक उत्तम समाज जाओ का मु एक सान एक आस है चिन्ह चिन्ह आस है सान एक आस आसले एक सपन आसले पूरा आलोचन के लिए सपन आमगे मुखार वो कस जाओ का मुदाना एक समस्या मुखार आये चढ़ जन नहीं आमगे देश बीस लाख तथली सान आमगे देश वन थर्टी करोड़ जन आसा ती आमगे समाज एक सान एक समाज सान एक समाज जलन मिती आमका इन्फ्लुएंस ना पॉलिटिकल पॉवर ना आमी एक मायनॉरिटी मुसलमान मायनॉरिटी नहीं आमी मायनॉरिटी मुसलमान अशे एक ट्वेंटी करोड़ आमी अशे बीस लाख वेरी सान तेखा समाजा वेरी कसल इन्फ्लुएंस जाको जो मुख कस कर का समस्या कसें मी आमगे कोंकनी आयडेंटिटी कोंकनी आयडेंटिटी ऊन जो आसा चेलू भाष उ ती घर तू पब्लिक उल्ला ती इंग्लिश उलता ती भाष उ ती खान करता पनीर मकनवाला पूरा करता ती आमगे दलिता करना ती पनीर मकनवाला आमगे देवालय पूरा मस वचे ना ती आमगे स्वामी आसा ती स्वामी को मसचना गोतना तो मैं पूरा स्वामी लगी के वचे ना जला ती तेरा मस्जिद ये ना ती पूरा वेटरन्स ये ती तेखरी मुखार पड़े री बीस वर्ष तीस वर्षान तू आमी नाम मात को आसताली ती जो आमगे भाषे आमगे संस्कृति मस्त ऊन जो आमका एक आयडेंटिटी ना जला री आमगे को एक आईडी ना जला री आम एक रूटलेस कम्युनिटी जता ती आमगे रूट ना जला री आम को प्रश्न निमितना आमगे चेलू पड़ताना तीन को पड़ताना आमक एक मस्त दुख जता आमगे समाज तू मस्त इन्वेस्ट करनी समाज वोट करनी आम संस्कृति दौरनी आमगे अज्जान पुंजान कष्ट के पूरा आम पूरा दूर के पर्सनलिटी आम पूरा अटेंशन को मुखार वो मुन के दुख जल जला री आमगे संस्कृति आमगे आयडेंटिटी मुखार वो जला री आमक इकनॉमिकली आर्थिक स्थिति मुखार यो का आमगे आर्थिक स्थिति मुखार यो का मस्त जन मस्त जन जला री आर्थिक स्टेटस ऊन जला री तक ताकत आसना मनशा के आर्थिक स्थिति ऊन जला री ताकत आसना ताकत जो का ताकत जो का जला री इपत्व शताब्दीन तू ताकत मेलका जला री आम एक नॉलेज कम्युनिटी जो का नॉलेज कम्युनिटी इतना मिला रही ये शताब्दीन तू नॉलेज इज पावर नॉलेज इज वेल्थ नॉलेज इज द वे फॉर्वर्ड आम एक नॉलेज कम्युनिटी जो का नॉलेज कम्युनिटी जो का जला री आमगे चेलू अंक चांग शिक्षण मेलका आमगे देश चांग शिक्षण मेलका विदेश चांग शिक्षण मेलका तो शिक्षण जाऊ नो तन्नी आने दा वर्षा तू पंद्रह वर्षा तू मुखार वो नो आमगे समाज एक मुखार हाड़का सम मुखार देवका मु एक आस जाए मार्क्शी पड़ता आमगे समाज तू साउथ केन्द्र तू एक चार पांच जन बैंक सुरू के बैंक 
the bank sur kalin miti mustina kamile kamilu tangal aathik sithi mukaraile ani tangal chelduva engineering college medicine pura kono mukaraile ti te bank ene jalari hanga south ke nantu titla kam na asile is an agriculturally backward district hanga kaina patharas laterite rockers pauseta jalari agriculture jaina takatri ते एक ही वन टाइम इधर ड्रामेटिक चेंज है ले मेरे आईटी इंडस्ट्री है ले आईटी इंडस्ट्री तना कौन कौन शिक्षित की तन पूरा यूनो आते ग्लोबल सिटीजन जलाती तक तेरे हम संगले हम एक स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम को नो हम गल पूरा चल दो आंत का कौन शिक्षण जाओ का की तं पूरा स्कॉलरशिप देनो तं मुकर हार्ड का a simple point, no Konkani child should be deprived of education because of means. Ami Konkani Samaj Malari, Masana Sati, Goa Incha Sati, Atta Dera Lakh Gujaratan Gujaratan Sati, Gujaratan Tho. Ami Eka Modi Maltan Sangun Tan Maka. Tumgele Konkani Asati Muna, Kona Gujaratan Kona Gujaratan Ulta Namai, Nana Konkani Ulta Ti. Tani Konkani Ulta Ti, Ami Kattu Jaina. Atta Amgel Samaj Sikha Samaj Malari, ते मराठी महाराष्ट्र की कंपनी उल्लेखे बॉम्बे कंपनी गोवा कंपनी मंगलौर कंपनी कोची कंपनी पूरा जन कंपनी उल्लेखा रही कंच कंपनी मुनो मस्त जना गुतु जायना अत मेगल बाश है एक मंगलौर कंपनी अत आम उल्लेख कंपनी तुम कोण की अर्जित की मन मार्कुत ना अत जला चांग अत जाने जला रही तुम इंटरपेट कराती तक कम्युनिटी करके का, आमे का नेटवर्क करके का, अ नेटवर्क करके का, आमे पूरा वोट तो जाओ का, आमे एक लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम करके का, बाशे प्रोग्राम करके का, आमे कल कल्चर्स पूरा आमे प्रिजर्व करके का, आमे वोट तो अच्छा का, अनि यह पूरा करके का मुना आमे पूरा ये स्कॉलरशिप प्रोग्राम प्रेरणा पूरा कर ले, अनि मुख्य इतना मैं पूरा न चिल्डू अंक मुकर पड़ी था ना अमी कसर जाओ काम उन्हें प्रश्न था तुम्हें पूरा साना साना कॉलेज जाके मुकर था ना तुम्हें प्रश्न आश्चर्य पूरा आम कसर जाओ काम उन्हों तुम्हें एक रोल मॉडल आश्चर्य ते रोल मॉडल आप पढ़ो नो तुम मुकर रहता थे ताकि ते कंचे क्रिकेटर रखा कंचे पीड़ित का एक रोल मॉडल आस्ता, अमी अम्मील समाज अध कुनो रोल मॉडल कौन है सर, तंग पूरा मुकर हानो, अमी मुकर दखु काम होनो, आज के ले प्रेरणा द कुनो संधि संधि पन पूरा काम के ले ते पूरा जत्ता सर, अनि अम्मील समाज अंतु बेद भावा आशन जा, बेद भावा आशन जा, इतना मले कंचे समाज संसान तुकर अम्मे समाज अंतु बेदबाव ऐसा नज़र ताकत रहम संगले कौन कोंकणी उलित की तानी पूरा कोंकणी समाज है तुम्ही मगेर कसर जत की तुम्हें ले तुम्हें ले विषय था जल अम्मी बाशे मात्र गितले इतना मले बाशन तो अम्मी मस्तवर्स पुड़े बाशन तो वटो जलिती बाशन तो अमोटो जाऊनो रब्बु काम उनो ताकत रे तुम्हें पूरा मुक्का रेव का, तुम्हें एक प्रोग्राम कर का, और तुम कितना संगता, तुम्हें एक प्रोग्राम कर का मोतो, आइकन आती, मस्त हेड स्ट्रांग है सर, मतलब प्रदीपन तो सब प्रदीपत मस्त ट्रैवल करता था, कतरी प्रदीपन समुद्र की इन्फ्लुएंस कर का, अत चंद्रिका माय मंत्री सब इन्फ्लुएंस मिलता ले, अम्मी पूरा वोट � अमची के लोगों का अत पूरा जन इंग्लिश शामुली ले तलारी कौन मंगे नूलित की पंद्र मिनट उली तलारी पांच मिनट अमची के लोगों का बाशे उली ला मात्रा अम्म मुकारे उच्चता इतना मंगे संस्कृति बाशे तस्सा अत अम्मी बोरुचा कंचे लिपि यूज़ कर रहता अम्म के कंच आसेस की जलारी बाशे नंतु अम्मी अम्म के अ तक तेरी ये हम के लास हैं हम कितना बोले तो आंसंग तो पूरा जना कि हमें वोटो जाओ का हमें एक नेटवर्क जाओ का अनि कोने के संगल मुके तुम्हें कोनी मंगलूरियन मन संगलारी अम्चीगल मन स्पोकनी मन संगलारी हम के देश शांति का ब्रांड इक्विटी है सब 
ब्रांड इक्विटी तो ब्रांड इक्विटी कैसे ले पर्सन ऑफ इंटीग्रिटी ए पर्सन ऑफ कैरेक्टर ए पर्सन ऑफ कंपैशन तो हमको मिल ला हम कैसे मिल ले हम के ले पुल्ले कौन आए लत की तो नहीं पूरा काम को नो हम के एक ब्रांड इक्विटी दिल ला कष्ट पूर्ण तो नहीं हम एक ब्रांड इक्विटी दिल ला अन्य तुम ही पूरा आलोचन कर रहे थे हम ही कोंकणी समाज जाऊँ नो कोंकणी समाज विता रबो काम नो हम ही तक एक भारतीय व्यक्ति जाऊँ चाहे ना बे अब आई कांट बिकम एन इंडियन हम वाइशुडी बिकम एक कोंकणी मेकर उत्तर कैसे मला रे हम को पूरा मल्टीपल आइडेंटिटीज़ आसा सोरे हम एक भारतीय व्यक्ति हम एक देश व्यक्ति भारतीय इंडियन सेकंड हम ही पूरा रब्चे कर्नाटका नो महाराष्ट्रांतो गोंचांतो कई रब्चे हम के स्टेट आइडेंटिटीज़ आसा स्टेट आइडेंटिटी को नो हम के गांव आइडेंटिटीज़ आसा ह ते आइडेंटिटी तो हम गले बाशी आइडेंटिटी है सर, हम गले कैस्ट और रिलिजन आइडेंटिटी है सर, ते मल्टीपल आइडेंस सर, कंचे आइडेंटिटी तो हमें पूरा इन्वेस्ट करनु मुकारसुका, इतना मतलब ही, आवर क्रिएटिविटी इज़ बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ अर मल्टीपल आइडेंटिटीज़, वी आर क्रिएटिव बिकॉज़ वी आर म आई देव का जलारी हम का मल्टीपल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ थॉट जाओ का तो डाइवर्सिटी थॉट के तरी हम गल आईडेंटिटी पूरा हमी प्रिजर्व कर का मनु एक तकत्री एक आशा सा अनेक आरण्य अंतु फॉरेस्ट अंतु पूरा गिल लारी ए नेचुरल फॉरेस्ट अंतु तंतु मस्त पक्षी आशा मस्त एनिमल्स आशती मस्त ट्रीज आशा इंसेक्ट्स it survives. Just like casualty jalari, like fire jalari, flood jalari, doesn't get destroyed. Disease island, destroy jayana. Monogamous jalari, just like disease island, it'll get destroyed. Because monogamous jalari, like diversity na. I mean, biology into, when we study genomics, we read all this. Monogamous species die very fast because there is no mutation taking place. There is no diverse taking place, and that's why I'm going to company identity. Karka. Ata, I'm going to pray nantu. I'm going to pura bari tati. Confluence of ideas and motivation. Ata salpa English and Dulita. I'm saying in mukhe five minute amchi gal jal le. Mai re ek topic abo chalti mukha mosto shabde na. Basti maam na anga. Kena basti maam sa naam ke nimbu taka. E shabde ke salam sangtu to to na ata. Guru is still coming up. Yes, Guru has to still come up to Basti Maam standard. What are the power of ideas? Human thought, human civilization has moved forward because of the power of ideas. Throughout our history, people have come with some grand ideas, and that ideas tend to dominate because of the power of ideas. So the power of humanity lies in the power of thought, lies in the power of ideas. The Lord Buddha came with the idea because he sought to answer the question, what is the root of unhappiness? What is the root of unhappiness? And he discovered through a process of going through meditation and he got that nirvana when he said, desire is the root of all unhappiness. If you give up desire, you become happy. So desire, human beings are emotional. You have desire. The desires are not fulfilled. The desire for power, a desire for domination, a desire for wealth, and all this is the root of your unhappiness because you don't achieve, you become frustrated. So he said, give up desire. And that was a powerful idea. And the idea spread all over the world. It's one single idea. Alexander came to India to conquer the whole world. He wanted to conquer the world. Chandragupta Maurya built the Mauryan Empire based upon Chanakya's idea. What was Chanakya's idea? The idea was Dhananda Nanda was a tyrant. He was taking away the taxes of the people and impoverishing them. So he came and said, I'm going to gather the people and build a different kind of empire. And he built the greatest empire India has seen by the brilliance of the idea of Chanakya. And then you go forward, we had Jesu. Jesu was born 2,000 years ago. And what was Jesu's idea? The meek shall inherit the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. What did it mean? In the Roman Empire, there was the Roman class structure. People were oppressed. There were a large number of slaves, large number of poor people. They were all oppressed. And he came and spoke to them and said, 
the meek shall inherit the earth. And after his death, crucifixion, the meek came together, they organized together, and it became a very great religion. And they toppled empires. But look at the power of the idea. And then came Shankara. Shankara came with the power of the debate. The idea was the debate to win over others who were Buddhist. So he went around India, he debated with many people, and he defeated them, and Hinduism was reborn where Buddhism had dominant. Prophet Muhammad came with an idea. The idea was the Ummah. The Ummah is what? A community. He said, we're all one single people, we believe in one God. And you must do that. So everybody believed. Suddenly the Islamic civilization became a very, very large civilization. Suddenly it spread all around the world. So it continued with all people coming with great ideas. And these are long, sustainable ideas which are gone on. But there is the power in that idea. And the idea dominates. So the idea dominates. Now we look at one person 500 years ago stalled the re reformation to end the dark ages by, print, by putting on the church door a letter of protest. And the letter of protest led to the rise of Protestantism brought in the age of enlightenment in Europe. One person, crazy fellow, said, I'm going to discover India by going west. And he went west and he found America. And one person said, I'm going to go south. And he came by the Cape of Good Hope and he discovered Kochi. So all these people had ideas, but all these ideas changed the world. It changed the world dramatically. And one person discovered a printing press and said, I'm going to print. And the printing press opened the minds of people because the knowledge encapsulated in books could be distributed. That one person discovered the latent energy in coal. To take coal, heat the coal, create stream and drive machines. Suddenly in 50 years, Europe became the greatest civilization, the most powerful place in the world, the economically strongest place in the world, eclipsing India and China. We dominated the world in economics, in wealth, throughout the long period of history. And suddenly Europe became a very large country. Why? Because one person came with the idea that I'm going to take coal, use coal to burn and heat water, and I'm going to use the water to drive the machine. He started the age of machines. Henry Ford came with the idea that I'm going to have an assembly line, Industry 2.0. So in assembly line, people stood still, the assembly mode, suddenly productivity went up, you could sell a car for one person's annual income. And he said every person should own a car. And suddenly all these ideas led to the destruction of the old empires, the creation of new ideas. Karl Marx came with the idea of the society of the proletariat saying the working class are the people who create value, and this value should go to them and not go to the capitalistic class or the feudal classes. And suddenly the world changed. The Soviet Union came, the Bolshevik Revolution came, socialism came, and it liberated the world. Hitler had an idea of domination. Thousand year reek, he destroyed the world and destroyed Germany, right? Gandhi came with the idea. My people are oppressed. We are, we are ruled by the British. And what are the idea? The idea of non-violence. It is a very powerful idea, because when you're violent, the enemy has more ammunition, more power, they can destroy you because they're stronger. But if you're non-violent, how many people will they kill? How many people will they kill? And he appealed to his poor Indians to come forth and fight for the freedom of this country. And that powerful idea of ahimsa, powerful idea of ahimsa led to non-violence, and the idea of non-violence created freedom for 60% of humanity. Because he destroyed the colonial, colonial system and 60% of humanity which is colonized all around the world became free. But the idea of one man, a simple man who went with a walking stick, with a dhoti and no top, and he gave freedom to 60% of humanity. But he had a powerful idea. And in Chauri Chaura, when the Indians burnt a police station and killed some people, he called off the Quit India movement. He called off the Quit India movement because he said, you, they are not ready for freedom because they have got hatred in the hearts. When you have hatred in the hearts, you can't create a new country. And he did it by the power. And he could call. He was the most powerful person of the 20th century. Crows of people would follow him. Can you call on people to march on the street with nothing and face the bullet of the British and get killed? And the police hit you with the lati. You get beaten. You fall down, but don't raise your hand. It requires courage. It requires great effort inside. 
It requires moral courage because moral courage is the most powerful force a human being can have. And these were the meek of the earth. These were the dispossessed Indians, the poor Indians. They are nothing. They had one roti to eat per day. But they all responded to his call to fight and they gave freedom to this country. And they gave freedom to the world. That was the power of the idea. And in modern society, many powerful ideas have come which have changed. And in technology, Bill Gates came with the power of the PC. A PC on everybody's desk. Suddenly the world changed. Before Bill Gates came, they were mainline computers. It was a monopoly of IBM. And he came and said there will be a PC on everybody's desk. And after that, we had Steve Jobs come and say, a mobile on everybody's hand. Suddenly you had the iPhone. You had the revolution of the smartphone. And then you had a crazy fellow who came and said, I'll build a social network. And suddenly Facebook has become the largest country in the world. 20, 230 crore people are on Facebook. What is behind all this? Behind all this is the power of an idea. And to make the idea work, what do you need? You need to believe in the idea. Look at all these great people who have come today. All of them who have come and spoken to us. They had an idea to do well for themselves, to build a career, to build a business, to run things. He's come with an idea of making sure that everybody can trade at a very low cost. It's a very powerful idea. But to make the idea work, what do you need? You need to believe in the idea. Chandrika said, believe in yourself. You have to believe in the idea, the power of the idea. You need perseverance. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult. You have to work day in and day out. Every day in the morning, you must come and beat your head against the wall and bring the wall down. Even if you fall, you're five feet, six feet ahead. You must believe in yourself. You must have perseverance, and you must keep fighting till you succeed. And like Neville said, you must work very hard. Neville was not born with a golden spoon. He was not born with a silver spoon. He was born with no spoon. He had to eat with his hands. But what did he do? Today is one of the best Indian managers who has built a great company out of nothing in a short period of time. Dhirubhai Ammani came with the idea of building a company of scale, and today they're the biggest company in this country. Mukesh Ambani came with the idea of a geo phone where calls will be free and data available to everybody. He's got 16 crore subscribers. 16 crore subscribers. Soon he'll have 50 crore subscribers in two or three years. That's the power of the idea. Naran Muthi came with the idea that I'm going to build a global software company from India using the global delivery model. The innovation of the global delivery model and that global delivery model meant today among the top 10 software service companies in the world by market value, five are Indian. Of the top five, three are Indian. Of the 20 lakh employees in the top 10, 15 lakh are Indian. 60% of the world's outsourcing comes to India. There's no industry in the world, no industry in the world, where only 4% of revenues come from your home country and you capture 60% of the world's market. No, country, no, no industry in the world. But he created that idea. And he created, like somebody said, I may not be the biggest, but I want to be the best. Because to be the biggest, you may need money. You may need influence. You may need patronage. But to be the best, you need yourself. You have to believe in yourself. And you have to work hard every day to be the best. And if you work hard every day to be the best, it'll take time, but you will be the best. Because the constant investment in yourself will take you very far, and you will be the best. Warren Buffet was asked, in an interview, what is the best investment a human being can make? And he answered, the best investment a human being can make is to invest in himself or herself. Best investment you can make to invest in yourself. What does it mean? You invest in yourself to improve your skills, improve your education, improve your competence, improve your productivity, improve your ability, so you compete like Neville did. What did Neville do? Neville invested in himself and today is a very successful manager. And I think this example is there. So you have to believe in the idea. You need to have perseverance. You have to invest in yourself and you've got to keep at it and you will get your reward. Reward will come. The reward will come. It takes time. Like Ulla said, the reward will come if you got income more than expenditure. If expenditure is more than income, you have to go to England to go away because the banks are going to go after you or go away somewhere. But if your income is ahead of your expenditure, you create wealth for yourself. And the wealth can multiply like all these successful people. And this is the message we want to give all of you. The message is believe in yourself. 
have an idea to see what you want to do in your life. Observe everything that comes to you. Fight your battle. Pick your battles. Do well. It is going to take time. There is no easy way out. People succeed at 60, people succeed at 30, people succeed at 70, people succeed somewhere else. And when you succeed, when you succeed, when you do well in your life, always remember, there was that small person, there was somebody else who helped you out. I'm standing here today because somebody built a school here 100 years ago. Ambebal Subraya Pai built a school. Because they built a school, a poor boy who had no father was educated. And because he was, he's there, that is his photograph. He was educated. And because he was educated, he worked hard, he gave me a good education. And because he gave me a good education, I've done very well in my life. And I'm standing here before you, talking to you. That means in everybody's life, in everybody's life, there is something that has happened in the past which has helped you to give you that break. Everybody doesn't give a break. Everybody doesn't get a break. Only a few are successful. A few do very well. But we want everybody to do well. And when you are successful, when you are done well, help the others who are behind you. Help the others because in the good of humanity lies your good. You can never be prosperous in a sea of poverty. You can never live happily in a sea of anger. You can never sleep at night when people are hungry. You can only do well if everything is there. Because the Almighty God, if He ever exists, has created this planet Earth where there's enough for everybody. Enough for all the animals, enough for all of us. There's enough for everybody to meet the needs, but not the greed. That's what Gandhiji said. The world has enough to meet everybody's need, but not everybody's greed. So when you do well, give back to somebody. Now we have this alumni association founded by Lenita. Lenita is my hero. She founded this alumni association. She set it up. Now it's working very well. She's giving back. She's spending her time. She's getting everybody together. She's talking to all of you and giving you the dream. I did achieve something in my life. You too can achieve. You should do better than me. You should do more. And she's at it all the time. Now you need to become a role model. You need to do well and give back to society. Give back to society till everybody has food on the table in the house. Everybody has a house. Everybody has power in the switch. Everybody has water in the tap. Everybody has a sewage connection. Everybody has a road. Every child has food. Every child has a family. Every child has enough to dream. And every child raises a dream. And everybody gets education. That's the bare minimum that you must give everybody. And if everybody gets it, we'll get a very powerful society. And the society should be built on compassion. The society cannot be built on greed. It has to be built on compassion. It has to be built on realizing your dream. It has to be built on achieving happiness. And how does happiness come? Like she said, how does happiness come? Happiness comes when you feel contented. How do you get contentment? Contentment comes when you, the hormones go up in you because you've done good. You achieved something. You achieved yourself. We have individual dreams. You must have dreams for a community. You must have dreams for our country. You must have dreams for a society. And if you achieve all this dream, it will be enough. And when you meet your maker, we must always go back and say, I, you gave me this world, and I tell our parents, you gave me this world, but I have left a better world. You got the world from your parents, you get a better world, and I have got this world, I left a better world, and whoever comes after me will have a better society. That should be our dream. And that's why all of us are working together, and we think in, our, in your achievement, in your coming forward, your accomplishment, our dream will be there. Our parents dream for us. They worked very hard. They ate one meal less. They sent us to school. My mother walked to school for 30 years to save the bus fare. She didn't need to do that, but she did it. Why did she do that? When she was growing up, there was no food in the house. They didn't have food to eat. They were poor. But she struggled. She came first in the district. She got married. She made sure that we did a homework. And she told us, you must always get 100 out of 100. Now, parents may not like that, but that was a different era. We got 100 out of 100. And when she got 99, she said, why didn't you get 100? Because she drove us. Sandeep's mother is there. She struggled so hard to bring up Sandeep. And I know that very well. So, we are the results of a parent's dream. And you are the result of our dream. 
you're all going to achieve something great which we all dream about. Because we are not dreaming fully for our children, we're dreaming for all of you. So you represent a dream and we're always there to help you. We're always there to connect you, but you have to lead your own life. Your life is your life. You have to determine what you want. So we must create a Konkani Samaj where there are philosophers, there are professors, there are doctors, there are inventors, there are business people, there are social scientists, there are Nobel Prize winners, there are rich people, there's everybody and we should work together. Work together and build this great society. That's our dream. Thank you very much. Kindly keep... Yes. Thank you. So, Sir TVM has requested for a question answer session. Uh. <laughs> you got to think of a question. Please think wisely before you ask a question. No, no, let them ask whatever question. Any questions? You have to ask questions. The best way to thank somebody who spoke to you is to ask questions. Come on. I told nice things about you. You're all bright people. You're going to win the world. Yes. Hello, sir. Um, you always say that uh, you need a B.Tech degree, M.Tech degree, do a PhD, so that your education is complete. And we have Nikhil Kamath here who is just ninth standard and he's worked so much and he's, he's a successful uh, identity now. So, aren't those contradicting each other? Nikhil Kamath is beyond sigma, beyond normal sigma. <laughs> There's something called beyond normal sigma, you understand that? There are very few people who can be beyond normal sigma. If you think you are beyond normal sigma, play your dream. Play your dream. It's okay. You must live your dream. He had a dream. He lived his dream. He did well. So it's beyond normal sigma. But the rest of us poor human beings, <laughs> there is one path which we follow. That's why I tell you, do your master's, do your PhD. If you don't want to do that, you want to be a mendicant, be a mendicant. Follow your dream. Whatever you want, you must do. Don't worry. Whatever you like, whatever you want, you do. Yeah. Who is next? Come on. Lenita, you have to ask a question. Uh, hi, sir. I'm Ram Gopal. So, uh, you have been reiterating the fact that there, there will be a jo job crunch because of automation. And uh, th there have been talks in the media uh, that there, will, th there is joblessness in the country. So what is your idea or what is your solution, a probable solution of uh, solving the crisis if there is any? There are three kinds of jobs. The first kind of job is what requires the left brain and the right brain the creative aspect and the logical aspect of your mind. Those people will always do well because they're creative, they're bespoke, and they can always come with new ideas. Second kind of job are the jobs which require individual performers who provide some service, but the service is of a low price, so you cannot automate it. Like a hairdresser, maybe you can automate, but it's not worth it. It's expensive, a massier, uh, something like that. You provide a service. And the third are the middle class jobs where you sit and do rule-based work. You sit in office and do rule-based work. Like you do accounting, you do banking, you do many things else, but all that can be automated. And that's where the job loss are going to be. It's the fat middle which pay you very well, give you an office job in air conditioned environment, they're going to shrink for a period of time. So the first kind of jobs will be there. Two, the job intensity of economic growth will come down. India has grown from $275 billion in 1991 GDP to $2.5 trillion 
grown at 8.5 percent a year CAGR in dollars is a fantastic growth you are in the best country in the world and from 2.5 trillion dollars you'll grow to 10 trillion dollars by 2030 but the job intensity the growth is going to come down if the economy grows at 8 percent jobs will grow at 7 percent but in future the jobs will grow at 5 percent it may grow at 4 percent in America the economy grows at 2.5 percent jobs are growing at one and a half percent they'll grow at one percent or zero percent so job incentive will come down so when the job intensity economic growth comes down, the number of work jobs will increase, but the high quality jobs will pay you well become less. That's why in the world the problem is the top 1% is making a lot of money. And you should all be in the top 1%. That's where you got to be. First, take care of yourself. Be in the top 1%. Then you can help the 99%. If you're part of the 99%, you have to wait for the top 1% to give you a hand. So don't worry about everybody, worry about yourself. I'll tell you a story. When Alexander conquered India, his troops were all very unhappy after the, vict after the victory over Pushwatama in the Jhelum. So they were all camping and wanting to go back and you're sulking. So one day we're sitting in the camp, he was recovering from injury. He saw a holy man go in the distance, a half a naked fakir. He called him to come, he didn't come. So he sent his troops and pulled him and said, I sent for you. Why didn't you come? He said, who are you to tell me to come? I'm Alexander, Alexander, the conqueror of the world. He then this man laughed, loudly laughed. Alexander said, why are you laughing? Then he said, oh, Alexander, conquer yourself. At the greatest of all conquest. So look after yourself first. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Lenita, where are you? Yes. Hello, sir. A simple question from my end. I have been interacting closely with you since last four years now. And each time you speak, you have this dedication and determination. And even if I ask anybody in this audience, I'm sure most of them will tell, yes, we treat TV Mohandaspai as our role model. I'm sure everybody will agree with me. But my question is, how do you come up with such wonderful ideas, uh, 50 ideas in one minute at one shot, and bouncing those ideas on right people at right time, and motivating so many people? How do you do that? What's the determination and dedication factor? What motivated you to be the way you are today? That's my question. You know, your brain has got 85 billion neurons, 85 billion. Each neuron has got five to six synapses. So you've got so much of mental capacity. They all connect, the neurons connect with each other. And they always come out with ideas. So you must learn to think. When you see something, the visual impact of this is interpreted by your brain. So whenever you walk something, your eye is seeing, and you must train yourself to make sure whatever you see is interpreted and you understand what it means. So you must train your mind through reading a lot across everything. When I was a child, my mother was a teacher. She got a library card. I used to go and read on a weekend two books a day. Any book that I got, I read. We used to read a lot. That's the only thing we could do. There was no TV, nothing else. So we should read. You must read. You must understand. You must have a sense of curiosity. You must understand data. The data must be in your mind. And when something comes up, you must think, you must strategize, you must develop that ability to have a problem-solving mind. And if you have the ability to do a problem-solving mind, you'll do very well. I think of large issues and try to apply my mind, and I'm able to do that because when I think of a large issue, the bits of information which is in my mind in the hard disk, they all come together. The synapses all connect. The neurons connect. They talk to each other, and boom, I get an idea. It's like him playing chess. Why? So much of chess moves is all there in the mind. So many combinations. It's all working. It's an algorithm you develop. Why? He studied so many chess games. He studied so many end games, beginning game, middle games, and all kind of that. And he knows if this happened, this happened, this happened, it all works. Except he got fed up because he said, I can't beat the computer. He was ahead of his time. Because the computer can do it in a jiffy of a time. So you must get all this and must think of a problem-solving mind. Sandeep is my hero. 
He always tells me novel things which I don't know. I think I know a lot, but he tells me things I don't know because he observes and he gets grassroots things and he tells me. So every one of you has got this talent. You've got to train your mind. You've got to understand problem. Think of innovative solutions and come out with ideas. It's a very simple thing. You've got to train yourself like she did. Spoke so beautifully. Told us so many things which are very real, but you didn't get it. How did she come with it? She stays in a remote place. That was that was the big place, right? She is well read. She has understood it. She can go to any city in the world, any place in the world, talk to any audience, and tell them with passion and energy, and you all believe it. Look at her. Look at Neville. So you have developed this competency. Okay, last question. Yes. Question. Hello, sir. Um, so my question is, um, how much of a risk should a man take in his life? <laughs> how much of a risk? When you take a risk, you don't know the risk exists. What is the risk? What do you have to lose? One year of your life? Okay. What is the risk? If it's money, yes, there's a risk. Like uh, somebody said, nobody knew that I had six lakh loan to pay and that loan is worth one crore. Right? You know, one of our speakers said, told me. So when you say risk, what is the risk? What is the stake? One year of your life, two years of your life, five lakhs, ten lakhs, what is the stake? You make a risk assessment and you do it. And sometimes people don't even know they're taking a risk, they just do it. I'm sure many of us, when we built our careers, did something. We never thought of the risk, never knew the risk. Ask him, Nikhil, what is the risk he took? At that point of time, there was no risk. Right? He just wanted to say, I'll play chess. He didn't think, if I play chess, how will I come to school? What happened to my career? What happened to my degree? What he never thought of. He said, I want to play chess. I want to play chess. His mother said, okay, he played chess. Then he said, oh, chess is gone. I don't want to go back to school. I'll go to something. He got a call center. In a call center, he said money. He said, I'll do trading. He did trading. He never make a risk assessment. That is the beauty of youth. That's the beauty of young people. Because, you know, you're learning. For us, we're older. We think, oh, if I do this, what happens? What happens? Because society has put so much of things in our mind. Risk, gaze, there, and all kinds of things in our mind. And he had no responsibility. He didn't have to look after his mother. Didn't have to feed his father. He was a free bird. Right, Nikhil? He could do what he wants. And what risk? When you are young, do what you think is good. The world will take care of itself. Okay? So thank you. Before I end, just some piece of data. We're very proud. We got more than 550 alumni who have finished engineering and medicine. About 85 are doing masters. About 18 have gone overseas. We've given scholarship to 70 young companies to go overseas. Our placement record is 98%. 98% have been placed. By 2030, we want 10,000 young companies to go outside India, get a master's and a PhD. And all of you will work to make it happen. We want 10,000 young people to go. We want 50% of our youngsters to have a master's degree plus PhD or whatever it is. Because bachelor's degree today is like SLC 30 years ago. SLC 30 years ago, you know, was like a Standard four, 50 years ago. Why? Because, you know, society comes up, it's competes, so you have to do more. And why more? Like somebody says, he's not beyond normal sigma, we are all within sigma, we are not as bright as he is, we are not as innovative. You know, we have to find a way, we don't have that idea, so we have to be there, so you must do that. And you should never believe that you are poor, you are far away, you have anything else. We went to uh, Gulbarga one day to give a scholarship to somebody who got 92% in SLC. So we gave her a scholarship. She came and said, sir, we are all backwards, sir. We are staying here, sir, and thank you very much, sir. I went on stage and said, I got 80% SLC. You got 92%. How can you be backward? I am backward. <laughs> See, the battle is in the mind. The battle is all in the mind. The aspiration is in the mind. You must have high aspiration. You must think. You must have the courage, you must have the mental energy, the determination. 
It is all in the mind. You must open your mind. And you must dream big. But dreaming very far, like Neville or somebody said, without building the steps is not there. You can build the castle in the air, but you must build the foundation to build the building to meet the castle. While you have the castle in the air, you must plan it out that every week, every day, you achieve so little bit so that you come up to that. And if you do that, you'll do very well. So let me wish you all the best and say how proud we are of seeing all of you. In you lies the future of all of us. And I want you, we want you to do well and realize your dream and realize your potential. All the best.